Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're gonna look at steps to create a backup of your BitLocker recovery key on Windows 11 and on Windows 10. If you use BitLocker on your computer to encrypt the system and your files, it is critical to create a backup of that recovery key in case it is needed to unlock the device and have access to your files. If you don't have this key, you won't be able to access your files and you may even have to reinstall the operating system. Okay, let's look at the steps to create a backup of your BitLocker key on Windows. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, to start the process, open Start and look for Control Panel. Then if you're in the category view, just change it to large icons and then open BitLocker Drive Encryption. Since BitLocker will already be enabled, you're going to have these options on the side and then you need to click the backup your recovery key option. This will open up the wizard and here you have three options to backup the recovery key. The first one is to save it to your Microsoft account and that's a recommended option. To proceed, just click the Save to your Microsoft account option. And now the recovery key has been backed up to the cloud. That is, of course, if you are signing in with the Microsoft account on Windows 11 or on Windows 10. You can confirm that the key has been backed up by opening the web browser and then going to this page instead of your Microsoft account. Now, if you have more than one computer connected to your Microsoft account, you're going to need to know the device name. And to do that, just go to settings and then on system, go to the about page and then review the name of the computer. And then just do a search for the computer and you should be able to find the recovery key that has been backed up to the cloud. Now, from the same wizard, I would even recommend to create a backup using the other different options. Uh, for example, we can save it to a file and that will require you to save the recovery key to a USB flash drive or a network location. You cannot save it to the same hard drive where Windows is installed for obvious reasons. And then click the Save button. And if you have a printer, you may want to use the print the recovery key option and that will print out a hard copy of the BitLocker recovery key. And then you can save that into a secure location in case you need the, the key to unlock your PC. After you back up the recovery key, just click the finish button. Now, if you happen to use BitLocker on a secondary drive or removable storage, you're going to have to backup that key manually as well. So and to do that, just select the drive that is being encrypted and there you are also going to find the backup your recovery key option and then just click on that. And then on the wizard, you're going to have the same options as backing up the, the key for the main system drive. For example, you have the option to, to backup the key to the Microsoft account, save it to a file and print out a hard copy. Select the option that you want to use. And once the process is done, just click the finish button. Usually the system creates a backup of the BitLocker recovery key to your Microsoft account if Windows enables the feature automatically on your computer and you're using a Microsoft account. But you cannot rely on this method. That is not always the case. So it is important that you create a copy of that recovery key manually. And I will even recommend using multiple copies. And that's it. Those are the different ways that you can use to backup the recovery key for BitLocker on Windows 11. And you can also use these instructions on Windows 10. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing.